I am going to show you something wild. Watch this. I am grabbing product data from an entire Amazon page. All the titles, prices, description, rating, everything and in fact images as well. All of this without writing a single line of code. This data is in JSON format and yeah, no Python, no APIs, nothing complicated. This is all done using Browser Act and AI powered no code web scraping and browser automation tools. And honestly, this thing changes the game for anyone who works with online data. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how it works. Scrape a few websites live, test its AI features and give you my honest thoughts also pros and cons and if it's actually worth grabbing their app so more lifetime deal if you ever tried collecting data manually you know how painful it is copying product names and links one by one it's slow boring and completely unsustainable when you need hundreds of entries most tools that promise automation either require coding complex setup or break when the website changes that's why browser act is interesting it's truly built for non-coders you just type what you want in plain english and it figures out the rest so browser act is basically an ai agent for your browser it can scrape extract and even automate actions like logging in clicking buttons filling out forms or exporting data it all happens visually without any technical setup it works on any websites even dynamic ones like linkedin amazon and google maps you can export data in csv json google sheets or send it directly into tools like zapier make or anytime for full automation and since this is an app summa lifetime deal you get unlimited api calls concurrency template usage basically everything unlocked forever so let's just quickly dive deep and let me just show you how browser act actually works so you can just go to browseract.com or just click on the link in description and after that you can just sign up and start using it for free it will give you free credits and also if you log in daily it gives you 500 credits so once you have signed up simply just click on launch button and now it will just open this dashboard for you and here you can see there are a lot of different templates that are really really useful for you that you can use for different sort of use cases there is this make instagram template scraper there is this google map scraper there is this google sheets template scraper as well there's a tiktok hashtag scraper as well there is amazon best seller scraper as well there is google scholar research scraper youtube comments scraper and in fact there are plenty of these different templates that you can use for different scenarios there are different scraping templates for social media for news for real estate for jobs finance processing academic in fact there are plenty of these different scraping templates that you can directly just use right away if you just click on any of these scrapers let's suppose this one amazon product scraper if i just click on this one and now you can see this scraper has this description and it has this workflow as well so the workflow shows how exactly this scraper actually works so to start with you need to provide a target url and then after that it visits that target url and then it extracts data from there and then it just presents that data in json format so let's just quickly test one of these scrapers i'm going to test this one which is amazon best seller scraper so i can simply just click on this and, and now i need to provide a category where this scraper can actually find the best seller products so let's suppose in our case we are going to find best seller products in clothing shoes and jewelry and now i can simply just click on this start button and now this web scraper will start and it will start scraping data from amazon and it will find the best seller products on amazon in this particular category right now you can see it is automatically has started using this web browser i am not using my keyboard my hands are free and now you can see it has automatically opened this best seller page and now it will automatically find all of the best sellers in that particular category which is clothing shoes and jewelry so you can see it has automatically created this step one which is navigate to this url that it has done already next step it will do is just open that category for clothing shoes and jewelry and then it will present data to us and there you go it has just opened this amazon best sellers in this particular category only and that is the step two it has just created in here as well it has just shortlisted all of the best seller products in this particular category which is clothing shoes and jewelry now let's just wait for it to present these results in a proper json format so we can just use those results anywhere okay perfect in just few minutes it has just completed this task and now presented these results you can see it followed all these different steps in here and in total these were 36 steps to complete this task and after that it has just created this csv file let me simply just click on this view button and now you can see it has created this nice looking clean csv file that i can now use anywhere so these are best selling products in that clothing and jewelry section and in fact i can just open any of these urls as well and i can find each of these products in here so all of these urls are working fine 
and now I can just use this data anywhere I want. So all of these products are best seller products in this category. You can see this particular product was bought 10,000 plus in the past month and this one was 2,000 plus and this one was 7,000 plus. So all of these products are like the best seller products. In total there are let's see how many products there are total 100 products in this spreadsheet so you can see there is the product title price star rating review count and product url now i can just download this spreadsheet and use it where i want you know the coolest part it even detects the dynamic loading and waits for elements before scraping that's how it beats traditional scrapers like octopars or epify and when it is done it can export everything or send the data straight to google sheets or notion now let me just quickly show you some of the other features so here you can see you can actually create your own workflow or your own AI agent as well. If you just go to this agents tab in here and here you can see I have created these three different agents. One of them was Amazon agent, other one is web scraping agent and another one is just like a general agent. You can simply just click on this create button and now you can just like name your agent maybe eBay agent or any sort of agent that you want and then you can just click on this create button and now it will create an agent for you and now in here you can just like add instructions for your agent so these instructions will be more like this that what exactly this AI agent is going to do so you can just follow this guideline to add instruction in here or you can just like directly add some instructions by yourself there are these different tools that you can add inside your agent so first one is browser control that's like basic setting for your agent second one is auto sign in you can enable that or disable that the third one is search general you can enable that then there is search social search finance search news all of these tools you can add inside your agent based on the purpose of your agent once everything is done now you can simply just click on this publish button and now you can just run this AI agent just like this you can just like assign it a task and then click on send and this AI agent will start executing that task then there is this integrations and api section and in here you can see you can integrate browser act with make.com or any 10 or in fact we can connect browser act workflows with any app or any api so let's suppose if you're building a custom website or maybe an application or mobile application you can connect browser act workflows directly inside your application if you just like go to this workflow api section and here you can find there is this base url there is this detailed guideline detailed documentation that how you can integrate browser act workflows inside your custom application if you want to integrate it with make.com or on any 10 so you can simply just click on these options and now it will open this integration section inside make.com and here you can click on this get started for free and easily integrate browser act with make.com similarly for any time if you just click on this and here you can see there is a detailed guideline that how you can connect browser act with any time easily you can see if you just click on this plus button from here inside any time and here you can see you can easily find browser act and then you can just like add browser act and then install node and then you can just like start using browser act inside your any time workflows now let's talk the real stuff pros and cons of using browser act so first let's just talk about pros you don't need to code literally type in english what you want it works on nearly any site including the javascript heavy sites it has a huge library of templates lead generation product research market analysis price monitoring it has got all of those templates it integrates with 6000 plus tools via zapier make.com or custom api and also you get the lifetime deal on AppSumo that gives you full access forever now let's talk about some of the cons so it is not ideal for real-time high frequency scraping some complex multi-step workflows can take a bit of trial and error and a few websites with aggressive bot protection might need proxy setup but overall for small businesses marketeers or automation builders this is an insane value if you want to try browser act the link is in description as i told you earlier right now there is a lifetime deal on app sumo use so you pay once and get all the premium features forever including unlimited templates exports and api usage so just use my link and discount code for extra savings and if you build something cool with it tag me i would love to see what you automate next browser act is honestly the easiest way to bring ai plus automation into your workflow and this might just replace half of the no code tools you have been paying monthly for i see you next video bye bye